You know, when we started helping churches find their pastor 14 years ago, the most common competitor we had wasn't another firm, it wasn't an, another option. The most common competitor we had was people thinking, I should do this on my own. Human pride, maybe. Maybe good intentions to try and represent your church, but the number one competitor we had was people wondering, why would I ever use a search firm? We would have people say, wouldn't it be of the devil to use a search firm? Wouldn't it be shirking our responsibility to use some corporate solution for the church? Now, if I hear that and I'm in a crabby mood, I'll say to people, mm, okay, so when you take up your offering at the church, do you just like put it in a box and lay it on the pulpit and let the Holy Spirit watch after it all week? Or, oh, you put it in a bank? Okay. And when you build your building, do you like go all Jehovah's Witness and everybody from the church get there and nail some things together? And th Oh, no, you hire a builder. What we're trying to do is simply bring the best possible tools to a very spiritual exercise. Just like you trust your offerings to a financial institution or your building to a great construction company, we want to be somebody not that picks your pastor, not that takes the Holy Spirit and prayer out of the equation. Rather, we want to free you up so that you can pray and discern, so that you who know your church better than anyone else can focus on who's right for us while we do a lot of the heavy lifting. And really, the, the expertise we bring is not, we know your church better than you. No, 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 no. Or we know everybody that's out there. No, 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 no. No, really the value we bring more often than not is an expertise that's born just out of repetitions. And we've done 2,500 searches now. I, I hope no one in your church has done 2,500 searches for a pastor. That would be kind of weird, and you're chewing through pastors pretty fast. <laughs> no, what we are is simply an assist, a resource. Think of it this way. You're the one that's being asked to go up Mount Everest. It's your mountain to summit. We're just the little Sherpa guy that's been up and down the hill 2,500 different times. And we can help you know, don't step there. Maybe do step there. But we're not in any way going to try and do your job. We're there to help you do the job God's assigned for you. And with a lot of prayer and discernment and us taking a lot of hard work onto us rather than you, we think we can free you up to work alongside the Holy Spirit and find exactly the person that God's raising up to help you in your next chapter of ministry.